Sam Mack is spending the week in beautiful New Zealand starting in Queenstown this morning. Sam? We are. Good morning, Michael. Lake Wakatipu right here. The beautiful mountains behind it. Of course, Queenstown such an iconic ski destination. Uh, so close as well. The flight from Sydney was only 2 hours and 25 minutes yesterday. Wow. We are super pumped to be travelling internationally again. And a reminder, guys, if you're looking at this thinking, oh, I would love to do that soon, you can use your Qantas points to book your stay with Qantas Hotels. You can stay at thousands of hotels and resorts across Australia and New Zealand, uh, like the Novotel Queenstown Lakeside, which is a cracker from 34,000 points a night so good reminder you can use your points book now qantas.com slash hotels but yes we are starting here in queenstown but through this week we're going to take you on this journey with us you can have a look and scout for your next destinations where you want to head but we're going to places like uh of course the otago wine region we're going to go to hobbiton later in the week we're going to go auckland to finish the week so a huge week in new zealand ahead can't wait to take you guys on the tour with us let's do your weather Sunrise Weather, brought to you by Beacon Trade, Sparkies, buy a downlight during Men's Health Week and will donate $2 to help live and break the stigma around mental health. Partly cloudy for Cairns today, possible showers for Townsville, partly cloudy for Maroochydore, Brisbane mostly sunny, 23, sunny for the Gold Coast, mostly sunny for Coffs Harbour, partly cloudy for Dubbo, sunny for Broken Hill, Sydney partly cloudy, 19, Canberra cloudy and 13, partly cloudy for Mildura, cloudy for Bendigo, Melbourne also cloudy conditions atop of 15, cloudy for Launceston, Hobart cloudy and 14, partly cloudy for Mount Gambier, Shower or two for Sejuna, Adelaide partly cloudy cloudy and 20 degrees. Uh, partly cloudy for Alice Springs, Darwin, sunny 31. A possible storm, heavy falls for Albany. Partly cloudy for Kalgoorlie. Perth showers easing and 18. And mostly sunny for Broome. Let's say a big good morning to Steve from Fergberger. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm fantastic. How are you guys? Really good. I mean, you are known globally for what you guys do with your amazing burgers. It's almost, I'm not a religious man, but I feel that this is the closest I've come to a religion. <laughs> Fergberger, in Fergberger, we trust was the motto for many, many years. Um, tell us a bit of the backstory of Fergberger. Oh, look, hey, uh, for the last 20 years, Fergberger's been making burgers and we've expanded into pies and our bakery, now our gelato and, and now our bar. So, we love food and uh, in Fergie Trust, come and enjoy it. <laughs> Let's talk through some of those famous names that have enjoyed dropping into Fergberger because it is the thing, when you get to Queenstown, you almost go straight there from the airport. Um, Ed Sheeran recently. Uh, who else has come through? And talk me through some of the experiences, some of the superstars who love it as well. Oh, look, every, you know, Everyone's important to us, but we're blessed to have some fantastic people. We went and cooked for Ed Sheeran at this concert. We took our team oh, down. Really? Uh, my wife got to go. I got the kids. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we've had Justin Bieber come in, and yeah. we spotted him in our T-shirt on the moped back in Italy. We've had other musicians, sports stars, sports teams. The All Blacks have been in. The All Blacks, you know, Dan Carter. I don't know if the Australians are fans of his. <laughs> we get all your sports teams when they come over. So everyone, they come in, they love a burger. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe the Wallabies need to get on the Ferg Burger diet. Hey, look, we'll bring them over. We'll even bring them to the Wallabies if they need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a... It's, it's definitely a thing to do when you get here. Mm. You know, my first time in Queenstown, because so many people have built this up, they're like, you've got to go to Fergberg, you've got to go there. I had it, and I, I'm slightly ashamed of this, for all three meals of the day, which would you recommend <laughs> that diet, or Fergberg for all three meals? Well, I've been here 10 years, so I definitely can't do that. But uh, if you're here for a few days, you have to. You've got to. There's the morning burgers and the night burgers, and probably after midnight too, I bet you did. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Um, loving and lineups as well. That's how popular it is almost any time of the day. But thank you. We will be there. That is our diet of choice while we're here in Queensland. Thank you very much. We're going to be back with more. There's so much to showcase here in New Zealand this week. A big week ahead, guys. That is so good. And that lake is the one that Koshi and Barretts dived into at the end of the show. Just getting and the shakes looking at it. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of winter, because we were there to, for the opening of the ski season, uh, and eels nibbled on Koshi. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did. Um, I love the way, too, our team looked after us. They had paramedics waiting with yeah. those silver blankets because they thought we could have a heart attack. Yeah, they thought these stupid Aussies, what are they doing? Thank you very much, Sam Max. Soon on Sunrise, the Prime Minister.